Hello everyone, welcome to ninth video of this series. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, Arduino code uh, that will communicate with the inverter and we are going to use the uh, query Q PI GS uh, as a standard command and I will not be using any other command and though I will be share the list of commands with you through description notes and uh, that will be available few days in description I hope that uh, uh, by the time you are watching this video it is it is upload available the link is available in the description so this is the minimum code to talk with your inverter this is like only 14 lines and uh, this can be used with ports with with extended hardware like Arduino Mega, ESP32 12-point board. Uh, these boards have additional uh, UART ports. Uh, so I will be using the uh, TX, TXT2 and RX2, the UART2 port. Standard serial we communicate um, generally for the code is zero you, you just refer it as serial then there is serial one and then the serial two and serial three so in this um, code i will be choosing the serial two so you can use this code with mega and esp32 12 month board do remember to check pin out of your board and read its detailed specifications as few boards i have found that don't support rx and tx on all uarts they only support either tx or only the serial zero uh, and remember to hook rx to rx and tx to tx between arduino and level shifter and rx to tx and tx to rx between level shifter and inverter as shown in video number five so let's go line by line to understand the code the first is string qpigs is equal to this so in this what i what you have is a hexadecimal representation of qpigs the backslash x represents that this is hexadecimal reference so 51 represents q 50 represents p i is 49 g is 47 and s is 53 right so this is qpi gs followed by crc remember this so in computer send qpi gs then it, there is crc so here crc is b7 a9 if you recall we have uh, computed uh, b7 uh, uh, a9 in the last video and followed by a crc is represented by 0d so this is the code and uh, uh, we need to send hex values to the inverter uh, why we need to send hex values i don't know uh, maybe that's protocol restriction but uh, i have uh, found that we can't send the binary decimal or xz characters um, i will not go into details of, uh, what is binary decimal xz uh, i think most of you already know and if you don't know then you can google and understand how this conversion takes place between binary hexadecimal decimal and xz so though i would do suggest that uh, if you want to master this uh, try to uh, convert pqigs um, into hexadecimal uh, through microsoft excel and uh, that i sh showed you in video number eight around 20 minutes time 
so you can watch that video again and you can try to uh, convert this pi gs into hexadecimal and you will get these values 50 51 49 47 53 and once you have these values you have to add backslash and x to tell the arduino that you need you are going to uh, send the uh, hex uh, the hand has sent the uh, number or the text in hexadecimal form so i think that's it for this slide okay the next line uh, there is a variable global uh, global variable uh, which is a type of string and then the name is string one actually uh, what i what i've done is i've used the, uh, the code already uh, uh, shared by the resilient buddy so in the arduino forum so i'm using the same uh, variables so what this variable does is this variable stores whatever reply is received from the inverter okay so next is serial dot begin this is a serial baud rate for our pc so this is this rate can be changed whatever you want to have serial 2 is the rate we are going to communicate with the inverter and this has to be 2400 uh, this i have 2400 i have already discussed and then the last is the uh, serial setup time what is the setup time this is arduino's wait time for inverter reply so once the command is sent the inverter has to reply and this is 20 is the 20 milliseconds so you can uh, see this is very fast uh, uh, and uh, even at 2400 baud rate which is very low uh, 20 milliseconds is good enough so if you don't get any reply within 20 milliseconds that means that there is no communication taking place all right so next uh, code is serial 2 dot print qpigs so principally we are printing this command on serial number 2 and serial number 2 as you know is the uh, serial port which is communicating with the inverter so this will send uh, command request to inverter uh, uh, do re remember that this is print not print ln so we are not printing a line but uh, only print um, then uh, because our code already have this od which represents the cr as required by the inverter so all you need to do is um, just print this all right next one is we are going to read string from the inverter and this is stored in string one so this is very simple um, uh, i haven't used any wait i haven't used any while command if you go to uh, let's go back to the you see uh, this is the loop this prints and then we have this uh, read string so as soon as i print or send my command to the inverter i start reading and uh, there is no wait i have uh, taken out the while command and i will not use the simple read command so this is uh, this works for me um, perfectly for me so i don't have to use while and this and that just send the command to inverter and read so if there is a reply you can have the instant read then this is uh, serial dot print ln so i am printing for the reply to my pc and after that time then there is a delay of 100 milliseconds uh, just this is a wait for the next command i am emptying the serial one so that the next uh, this variable is uh, empty uh, for the next loop so these are the closing commands and uh, that's it this, this, this is um, that's it once you have success with minimal code then you can should go to the next level so 
that's why i am sharing this only 14 line codes code with you okay so this 14 line code works with uh, with uh, arduino board that has more than one uart more than one serial port so what about um, if you have uh, something like uh, uno uno uh, uno arduino uno or uh, uno or esp01 uh, they only have one UART and that UART you need to uh, use for for uh, using with your PC you want to display your uh, reply from the inverter on, on your COM port or the serial monitor so we are going to use a library that is called software serial and the software serial through this library you can turn pins of your arduino as dx and rx so uh, like esp01 has only eight pins and their gpu io are limited so you can use this and let me show you first uh, that uh, this can work perfectly let me show you a clip of esp01 working perfectly see it's working perfectly so what additional these from uh, here downwards these are the 14 commands uh, as already discussed so i have added three lines so let's see, see what these three three lines will do first of all i have included the software serial library so this is the library you need to uh, invoke and you want to use standard pins as TTL or serial uh, pins if you are using ESP01 so you have to use uh, uh, pin number 0 and pin number 2 and if you are using UNO then I have uh, used 7 and 6 so and they work perfectly so uh, from the these yellow lines all you need to do is use one line as per requirement of your board so uh, um, but do do take uh, care when connecting the pins 0 and 7 are rx and 2 and 6 are tx so i have uh, referred this in this sequence so 0 is rx and 2 is tx so do care do take care of this while connecting with the level shifter level shifter st will still be needed and in this code uh, that there are three variables qpigs this is string and then string one i have already discussed but uh, serial two is not a variable when we talk when we refer to uh, hardware serial but we, when we refer to software serial library the serial 2 becomes a variable so you can change this name as you like um, so this is explanation for the newbies all right after um, uh, sending the uh, using successfully using the hex code I tried the I tried to send XE uh, codes XE characters to inverter and uh, strangely it doesn't, doesn't work so what I did was um, I, the string QPIGS was is equal to QPIGS and these are the two um, CRC comma hex so I used this as hex then I print to, uh, to, uh, to the inverter followed by uh, backslash xod or backslash r you have to use uh, any one of these commands they both means carriage return so when I send this the reply was uh, nak so not acknowledged so strangely uh, inverter received the command the crc was passed but uh, 
the reply was not acknowledged so i didn't find out what is the error why it's not working but when i change the code a bit this works why this works i don't know uh, what i have made the changes is that um, i have taken out the crc this dot and copyright sign uh, saved in cupex and uh, this QPIGS is then printed to inverter and then after this the CRC and uh, carriage return was sent to sender as uh, to the inverter so and this start uh, started working so I don't know uh, why the CRC uh, when send as text saved as hex doesn't work and when sent like this it starts working um, I thought that uh, this may be due to XC standard and X XC extended um, characters but uh, I'm not sure uh, because uh, the inverter seems to accept and applies with not acknowledged because if the CRC is not accepted my understanding is that uh, you even don't receive this not acknowledged reply so so, the, uh, so just sharing uh, what I found out and this may be helpful for you when you are doing the extended coding with all the commands all right there is another tip I wanted to share in this video and that is a software called termite uh, when you have uh, multiple Arduino boards connected with your PC and there are multiple serial outputs or input for inputs for your PC um, then beyond Arduino IDE you need a software that can monitor your serial ports so I use this uh, termite it, you can uh, open multiple windows of this and uh, you can monitor your uh, compo compost not only monitor you cannot you even can send uh, commands from this to your Arduino and um, uh, just uh, in the settings you can see even uh, I have the option of appending CR and uh, I can set the bout rares and do you remember 8 and 1 so this is a simple free utility uh, and this is very helpful when I was impl implementing ESP now I hope the use is very simple and if I was able to explain to you in the last videos uh, what is 2400 what is 8 and 1 th and you then you will be able to use this utility very uh, sim very easily and uh, I, I don't have any plans of doing uh, further explaining this but uh, in just in case uh, uh, in some time i plan to do any video on esp now then maybe i include this uh, uh, this explanation of the software in that but still i am very uh, hopeful that this is simple and you will be able to use this software if you are um, planning to choose multiple boards right so that's all for this video and uh, if you found this video helpful with the minimum code 49 code um, think about liking this video so till next video bye from my side